What's up, YouTubers? On tonight's video, we are going back to 1991 and opening the first ever super premium baseball cards ever made. 1991 Stadium Club Series 1. And I am super excited about tonight's break because I personally have not opened hardly any of Series 1 Top Stadium Club. I was actually going through my star boxes from the 80s and 90s and I was only able to find three cards from Series 1 in my uh, Hall of Fame and Star Box. I got Kirby Puckett, Wade Boggs, and Will Clark. And that was pretty much all I could find, unless I happen to miss anybody. That is all the star cards I have from Series 1 Top Stadium Club. So I am super excited about this. I picked up this box on eBay for about 20 bucks, and then a little bit for shipping. And I love uh, their, the balls of Stadium Club to put uh, Junior Ortiz as the cover boy on this box. I mean, it is a good action shot, but come on, it's Junior Ortiz. But anyway, I pulled out the first eight packs. I'm going to open them uh, for you guys. Obviously, I've still got 28, but I'm not going to open up the whole box because I don't want to have like a 30-minute long video. But uh, 1991, this is the first ever full bleed borderless cards, and I believe the very first cards to have gold foil stamping on every card. As you can see down there with that famous Stadium Club logo. So... Uh, Although Super Premium meant uh, better quality than anything else on the market, it did not mean uh, rare or limited in any way, as these are still readily available on eBay. But uh, I don't care. This is exciting for me because I don't have any of these hardly in my collection. I'm looking for that Nolan Ryan in the tuxedo card. Maybe the Eric Shaw playing his guitar. But uh, obviously this is from 1991, almost 30 years ago. But I was looking at 1991 as a year... Uh, as a whole, and uh, obviously there was amazing movies that came out that year. We had Terminator 2 in the summer, which changed my life when I saw it. But uh, musically, that's probably the best year of music, probably in the last 40 years. Um, we had Nirvana debuting their Nevermind album, uh, Pearl Jam's debut album 10, uh, Metallica had the Black album, uh, Guns N' Roses had Use Your Illusion 1 and 2, Soundgarden had their debut album, Bad Motorfinger, uh, Smashing Pumpkins had their debut album, Cypress Hill had their debut album, Tupac had his debut album, uh, let's see, Red Hot Chili Peppers had Blood Sugar Sex Magic, Metallica had the Black album, I mean, just amazing. We also had uh, Color Me Bad, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch, Gerardo, and of course my all-time favorite, uh, uh, Time, Love, and Tenderness by Michael Bolton, but just amazing year of music in 1991 and of course these top stadium club cards so without further ado let's go ahead and bust into these uh, eight packs i've got and we will see what we pull obviously i'm looking for any kind of stars because like i said i only have kirby puckett wade boggs and will clark so any stars i can add and i don't consider this junk wax because obviously it's not wax it's cellophane and i always loved that they had their kind of revisionist history and had their first uh, tops card on the back. It says rookie card, but it was only what tops produced. They ignored any other brands. But uh, let's see what we pull here. We've got uh, Joe Migraine Headache, Greg Myers, with the Blue Jays. Nice shot. Got to gotta have our checklist. It's not a pack break by me if I don't pull a checklist. Mark Gubigza, the Royals. Greg Biggio looking like the Bat Boy running out there to grab a bat. <laughs> Carlton Fisk looking incredibly old right towards the end of his career. Nice old school White Sox hat he's sporting there. Ron Darling. His, his arm looks incredibly hairy there. He looks like he's almost going into a werewolf transformation. Todd Benzinger. Daryl Hamilton looks really excited there. Eric Davis with the Reds. Lance Johnson. Sporting the old uh, 19, 19 Black Sox jerseys, maybe. And Jim Deshays, the uh, pitcher bunting pose. Pitcher sacrificing. All right, pack one. A couple of stars there. I had the Carlton Fist, Craig Biggio. Nothing too crazy. Pack number two. These were a suggested retail price, I think, of like a dollar 99 maybe when they came out or maybe it was a dollar but uh, they were so hot when they came out that prices shot up to two three four even five dollars a pack i remember uh trying to find some of these at my local card shop 
way back in 91 when I was uh, 13, 12, 13. And uh, I had like eight bucks and they were sold out. So I didn't get any. And apparently through all the years, I was only able to grab a handful of packs because three stars isn't very many. So anyway, pack number two, we got Cecil Felder, who always had a huge backside, as you can see from that photo. Alan Trammell, Hall of Famer. We've got uh, Bobby Thigpen. That doesn't look like Bobby Thigpen, but I'm sure it is. Doesn't look like him. Greg Olson, Rookie of the Year in 1989 with the Orioles. Really, really bad ball club back then. Terry Muholland Drive. Somebody stuck behind him. And it was Mookie Wilson. Gary Pettis. Looking pretty frail there. Needs to eat. Tom Pagnazzi. Wally Joyner doing his best uh, Bill Buckner pose there. Ron Robinson. Always kind of goofy looking. But he played high school basketball. I think it was all state and all conference as well. Mike Sims, failed prospect, and Von Hayes with the Phillies. Interesting story about Wally Joyner. I heard uh, a story, or read a story, that he was given performance enhancing drugs towards the end of his career and he broke down in tears and flushed them down the toilet and didn't take them. I don't know if that's a true story or not, but uh, I read it somewhere, so it has to be true. So. Good for Wally not giving in and taking the performance-enhancing drugs. Probably would have hit 30 home runs and drove in 120 towards the end of his career if he had taken them, but uh, he did not. So we got Ban McDonald. Second Joe Migraine Headache. Another Greg Myers. Another checklist. Come on, we're going to have bad collation here. Dana Kiker. Kiker? I have no idea. Dave Magadan. According to 1988 tops, he was a future star, but he was not. Randy's always ready for a bad swing at Shea Stadium. Bob Walk, Kevin Bass, up close and personal. Barry Larkin, Hall of Famer, that's a nice one. Joe Orsalak and Damon found my thrill on Damon Barry Hill. All right, four more packs. To go. I opened a handful of Series 2 packs a while back and pulled uh, like three of the Jeff Bagwell rookies. I was pretty excited about that. We got Terry Shumpert with the Royals. Jerry Brown, the governor with the Indians. Lenny Harris, that's got to be old Candlestick Park with the chain link fence in the background. Shane Mack, it's a cool looking card. I don't know what that is from there. He's obviously not really batting during a game because he doesn't have a batting helmet on, but still a pretty cool looking card for Shane Mack Attack. Mike Lavalier, who was an all-star in 92. Jerome Walton looks like he's sliding and doing the worm at the same time there. Jose Chico leaned. Needs to get that tooth fixed. Jeff Hewson. Andres Galarraga, the big cat with the Spose. Tino Martinez. Uh, Robbie Thompson looks like he's out at home plate. Not too happy about it. And Spike Owen, the Expos. All right, a couple more packs here. Hopefully we pull that Nolan Ryan in the tuxedo. That was like the hottest card when this set came out. Obviously, I do not have it in my collection. Well, this cellophane's hard to open up cleanly. Brooks Jacoby. Hit 32 home runs in 1987 out of nowhere. Can't believe I still remember that. Blowjob Sirhoff in front of a packed house there in Milwaukee. Bob Green, or excuse me, Bob Guerin. I've never even heard of that guy. Larry Walker, really, really close. So close you can see his mole. Kelly Down Syndrome, Mark Langston, good strikeout pitcher for the Angels back in the late 80s, early 90s. Rick Aguilera. There is the famous Eric Shaw, just hanging, playing his guitar, having a good old time. Unfortunately, he did uh, commit suicide. Paul O'Neill looks like my dentist from uh, the mid-90s. My orthodontist, actually. Blackjack McDowell, Tom Flash, Gordon, and Melito. 
rocking the Jerry Curl P Res with the White Sox. I guess every White Sox player, they're sporting the throwback Black Sox jerseys. Because so far, everybody I've pulled has had that on. Carlton Fisk, Lance Johnson, and then there's Melito P Res. All right, three more packs to go. They did such an intensive breakdown, too, of the hitters where they see different pitches and what their batting average, I guess, was against those pitches. Pretty interesting. Also, they had their Topps debut card as their rookie card, even though that was a box set, not available in packs. Joe Oliver is bulging with uh, intensity in that picture there. We've got Steve Bye Bye Balboni with the Yankees. Bobby Bonilla, who still gets paid by the Mets. Crazy. Look that up if you don't know what I'm talking about. Shawan Dunstan, waving to somebody uh, over by first base. Dwight Smith, getting tagged out by Rex Hudler, it looks like, at the Expos. Lance Parrish, numerous time All-Star with the Detroit Tigers in the 80s. Greg Jeffries who was super hot way back in uh, 89, never panned out. Dave Parker towards the end of his career. Another Kirby Puckett. Dave Henderson, rest in peace. Dave West, Dave Steeb, and Joe Oliver. Sweet mullet, Joe. Two more packs. Let's see what we can get. Come on, let's get that Nolan Ryan in the tuxedo. Really liked it. Really like to pull that card. I've got, I don't know, maybe about 150 Nolan Ryan cards, 150 different Nolan Ryan, so I'd like to add one more to that collection. Wouldn't mind pulling the George Brett and Cal Ripken as well if they're in Series 1. Doug Jones, Mike McFarlane, Tony Phillips with Dave Parker sliding into second base there, Steve Sucks with the Yankees. And then this gives you like a breakdown, I guess. Bars it shows you how they uh, do the stats on the back. Extensive breakdown. And then uh, I guess if you want to join like top stadium club group or some crap. Chico Lean with the bad tooth again. Jeff Hewson. Big Cat Galarraga again. Tino Martinez. Somebody stuck to his back. It's Robbie Thompson again. Spike going again. Hey, there's George Brett. Nice. Do not have that card in my PC. George Brett, one of my favorite players from the uh, 80s. And Scott Fletcher, not wearing the throwback White Sox jerseys. All right, last pack. Let's get something exciting. Get some last pack mojo here. Pick up these scrubs from the last pack. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a... Uh, breakdown of the entire rest of the box, the other 28 packs, show you guys what I get, maybe. Alright, Jerome Walton on the back, already pulled his card where he's doing the slide worm. We got Daryl Boston again, Folks, Noakes, Todd Zeal, tagging out somebody who doesn't know how to slide, pretty cool looking card there. Jose Canseco with a big swing at Fenway Park, it's kind of cool looking card. Kent Anderson with the Angels. Jose DeJesus with the Phillies. Somebody stuck to his back. It's Mike Scott. Probably scuffing the ball. I mean, look at all that pine tar on his leg. How did they not catch him? He had a crazy 1986 season with the Astros. Came out of nowhere. Struck out over 300 hitters. Had a uh, nasty, uh, I don't know, it was a two-seam fastball or something, but... Uh, Check out the highlights of when he struck out, uh, I think, 16 or 17 Mets in the uh, 86 NLCS. If he'd have pitched Game 7, they would have moved on to the World Series, but uh, they could not beat the Mets in Game 7. Mike Benjamin with the Giants, looking like he weighs about 140 pounds there. Neil Heaton with the Pirates. Kevin, young Kevin Brown there with the Rangers. Mike Lavalier again screaming. And Shawan Dunstan doing the worm, finishing off. My eight packs of Stadium Club. Not bad. Didn't pull the Griffey or the Frank Thomas or the Nolan Ryan or anything like that. But uh, still fun. I still got 28 more packs to open up. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, we will see you next time.